Let's talk about the hypocrisy of public education in the United States of America right now. And yeah, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little upset. I'm getting a little, little tense about the entire subject because we're not on a level playing field. Public education, public schools, competing against charter schools, private schools, home schools, and now this really nasty subject called no school, which I'll get into in a future video. Everyone acts like it, it's comparing apples to apples, but it's not. There's a lot of hypocrisy in here, and I love this article that got sent to me. It's a New Jersey article, and the title of it is, New Jersey Charter Schools Are Feasting on Taxpayer Dollars. See their monster salaries, right? So that's the premise of this article. I'm going to link to it uh, below. And, well, Caroline is going to link to it below, right, Caroline? Okay, Caroline's shaking her head up and down. Newest addition to our team, by the way. Hey, welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, don't talk because it's my time. It's my show. Funny, right? Okay, not too funny. So, New Jersey charter schools are feasting on taxpayer dollars. And people will say, well, they're doing a better job. Oh, my God, they're really doing nimble, creative uh, learning journeys for their students. But what 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 we're not talking about enough in this article, I'm really impressed with this author, um, that he does really, really dig into, and I want to make sure I get his name correct, uh, Matthew Steinmeier, S-T-A-N-M-Y-R-E. I'm sorry if I, I butchered that right now. I'm just, when I read your article, I was so upset that I just wanted to shoot a video because what he does in this article is he compares the superintendents of, of public schools salaries with the superintendents or whatever they're called, executive directors at charter schools. And it looks like we're trying to do a comparison thing. And, and here's what he highlights. But I think one of the scariest things he doesn't mention or doesn't at least highlight in this article. So when you're thinking about a charter school, a person that runs a charter school, how much do they get paid? What's it worth to educate the babies for the future? It's worth a lot. I don't think our teachers are paid enough. I don't think our front desk staff are. I don't staff are paid enough. School board members. I don't think necessarily that that anyone that's involved in public education is paid enough because I'm not. I'm not joking. It's our future. I know, but it really is our future. Like I'm. I, I'm not trying to make that a light moment because it is our future, and we don't take it seriously enough. But. He calls out certain individuals, Lee Byron, for instance, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him out also. Miss um, Byron is paid six hundred and seventy-one thousand dollars, not every five years, but every year. Like that's an annual salary, six hundred seventy-one thousand dollars. Can you? That is a lot of. That's a lot of cheddar. That is a lot of money, right? Six hundred seventy-one thousand. Okay, seems like a lot of money. And then you look at it, the highest paid public official in New Jersey. This is just breakdown of New Jersey schools. Roger Leon. Roger Leon. And and uh, Roger, I, I'm going to call him my first name basis. I hope we're going to be friends one day. Is paid 308000 So she is paid twice as much, more than twice as much. And somebody could go, well, you know, she, man, charter schools are doing twice as good. They're, they're really crushing it. They're doing twice as good for the education. But that's not the number that really jumped out at me at the hypocrisy of these salaries. Roger, Roger Leon's school is a school district with 38,000 students. 38,000. So you would think that, that Ms. Byron's salary should have, what, 38,000, 40,000? I mean, she's paid twice as much. Maybe it's 70,000. But, but, but maybe they're, they're running a better ship and she's the best leader in the entire universe and we got to pay a premium for her. So maybe they're only educating like 10,000 students or 20, like a third or half of what Leon is. But no, 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 no. Her charter school, and it's hers, trust me, she can pay this kind of money. It's hers. She is educating 589 students. That's like one school. That's like a high school. That's like my daughter got out of high school. That's off. That's a quarter of her high school. That was a quarter of her graduating, like her class, I think, graduated like a thousand students. So that's like half of her graduating class. So she is being paid, get a load of this, $1,139 a student per year. $1,100 per student. Where Mr. Leon is being paid $8 per student. You, I'm pretty sure, I didn't go to math school, but I'm pretty sure that's the math. You take the 38000 divided by his salary, that's $8 per head. He's paid $8 per head to educate them babies. She's paid $1,139 per student. Now, that number, let me put that number in further perspective for you. 
Almost every school, public school, which includes charter schools and home schools, anything that's paid for by the government is paid per student. I, it seems crass to think about that students equal money, but but if you've been watching any of my YouTube channels, you've gone to any of my, my, my speeches out there, this is the way the world works. This is the way government structures it. We pay per head per year. The average amount of money paid across the United States is about 14000 a year per student. Some districts more, some districts less. But let's just take the 14000 that means 14000 for everything that that student needs. Everything. You got to pay the teachers with the 14000. You got to pay for facilities. You got to mow the grass. You got to get food shipped in for lunch, maybe even for breakfast, right? You got to pay for the busing. And then you got to pay for administrator salaries, right? And then you got to pay for toilet paper. You got to pay for chalk. They probably don't use chalk. Caroline just made a horrible face, Brian. They don't use chalk anymore. Okay, whatever, like, electronics and technology they use in school systems, every dime of what they get paid comes out of that 14 grand on average. She's taking $1,100 of it for herself. Leon's taking eight bucks. So you tell me, you tell me now if that doesn't upset you. Because the, the issue is public schools have complete transparency for their dollars. They have complete, you got a Freedom of Information Act, you have sunshine laws. People can find out salaries, and then they're just going to butcher the schools for it. They're going to, oh my God, he's overpaid, the superintendent's overpaid, she's overpaid, da 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 How often do you find an article like this, like this, that actually calls to the mat the people that are grossly overpaid in charter schools? And I'm going to... I'm going to tell one more story, okay? And I'm probably going to have more, more videos on this because I find it enraging. I, I, was on the, I was on the other side of the fence for a while. I was a, I was a lawyer, and I thought I was something else. And this is before I got neck deep in the education space. And I got asked to serve on a board. I served on some nonprofit boards, some, some community boards, leadership in Memphis, things like that. It was awesome. I got asked to serve on a charter school. Man, I want to... Help the kids of the future, charter schools, wave of the future, innovative, yay, great. I sat on there, and then when I saw the budget, there's five board members and the superintendent. This charter school had two schools um, in, in two different areas, and it was probably 700 students, 800 students at the time. And the salaries for the top people made me almost get sick to my stomach. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait. And then on top of that, they were putting all this money in a foundation. And the foundation was designed to do whatever the foundation was designed to do, which was not educate the babies. Every single dime of money for education should go to training the kids. Not for foundations, not for big offices and fancy desks and big salaries. You know, and, and that's what's happening right now. Is what we have to do is actually look at everything across the board all types of education and ensure that all the students have a fair, equal shot to pick the education that's right for them. And then we should be able to hold accountable the leaders in any public education space. If they take $1 of public money, it should be transparent. Now, private schools, you do whatever you want to do, right? People want to take money out of their pocket and pay for a school. Do what you want to. It's America. It's America. And America, you should be able to do that. But if you take a voucher, if that public school takes money from the taxpayers, then it should be transparent what everyone makes. It should be transparent on where every dime goes. Because as taxpayers, as voters, as citizens, that is our only recourse, is to make sure that the people that we elect, that we put in position to train our children, are held accountable. Is to watch the purse strings. Is to watch the, the budget. And I'm going to really thank this guy, and I'm going to send him a, I'm going to send him a thank you note. I'm going to, I'm going to send him a book or something, something awesome. But the fact that he took the time to research these salaries and there's lots of other examples in here. I took the two most, took the two biggest ones. And and uh, by the way, I just noticed this: all the the charter officials that he has listed on here make more than all the superintendents that he has listed. That's just interesting to me. So because they're setting their own salaries. Yeah, me too. I want to set my own salary too off of the taxpayer dollars. So look, I hope that I hope you get upset, and I hope we start paying attention to this. I hope we start holding everyone accountable. And I'm not talking about. Just the charter schools or just some schools. We got to hold public schools accountable too, but everyone should be held accountable to the fair, same standard. And that's the that's the push we're gonna be doing over the next few years. I would say thanks for watching, but I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little sad right now over it. Okay, see ya.